So I launched my new vlog and everything broke. Everything is broken! Okay, here's what actually happened. So I released my first video, and my friend who runs a very large YouTube channel told me that fast views matter, especially when you want your video to get some more organic engagement. So I did the next logical thing. I emailed the video to my email list. And a few minutes later, I checked my video views, and there's like 51 views. That's it. What? I checked back a few minutes later, and there's only 52 views. So I checked my email and I noticed that the email never got sent. Fuck. My email provider had a weird outage and my email got delayed sending by almost an hour. I finally commit to doing something big like a daily vlog for 2018 and here I am. Things are going wrong. Is it a sign? No, I don't believe in signs. And then I get a message from my videographer. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? I have some crazy news for you. Uh, my flight was actually canceled, so I'm not gonna be back in New York till tomorrow. Oh! Now he's not gonna be back for another two days. Look, I'm no master with a camera. I'm sitting here holding this camera, talking to you right now. It's probably a little shaky. I'm not the best here. This is why I have a full-time videographer. And here I am, trying to launch a new vlog, and everything is going wrong. I mean, look, you can see this camera quality. Look at this video that you're looking at right now. Look at my first vlog yesterday. It's a slob stuff. I just want to put a video out. And then, my phone, why won't you stay in my pocket? I hope I didn't just break my phone just now. That would be horrible. Look, and then it gets even worse. My friend sends me a link to an article on Business Insider where the article literally says, YouTube viewers are going down for vloggers. And they talk about all these big blogger, vlog, video creators, and how they're not getting as many views as they used to get. And I'm sitting here thinking like, I'm just getting started. And now they're writing articles about how it's not working anymore. This is stressful for me. I mean, I'm doing something new. I'm committing to launching this daily vlog. And it's a lot of work. Right now when I'm filming this here, it's eight o'clock at night. I put a full day of work in and I'm still trying to get these daily videos out. And it's so frustrating because I'm sitting here like, is this a waste of my time? Now what's interesting about all this is as simple as this. Whenever you start something new, things are always going to go wrong. It's part of the process, I know this. Now what's funny about this is that no matter how much I try to make things go perfectly, it just never works out. This is true when I'm doing a product launch, this is true when I'm launching a business, it's true no matter what it is I'm trying to do. Something always breaks. Everything is broken! Now at first, I was actually pretty frustrated about everything. That's what usually happens when you're launching something new and things don't go perfectly, you get frustrated and you start thinking, I gotta quit! It's funny, I actually called up my video guy and I'm sitting here thinking like, man, this is not worth it. Uh but here's the deal, no matter what you do in life, Things aren't going to go perfectly, and you need to remember that. I need to remember that. I mean, I'm sitting here filming at the end of the day, and I don't even know what to say because there are all these things that went wrong today, and you always want things to go better, but they're not. I decided to film this today because I wanted you to know that no matter what stage you're at, no matter how many employees you have, whether you're getting started or you've been at it a while, you're always going to have these types of problems happen. It's par for the course. I mean, as you know, I, I run an online education business and software company and I'm, we're launching this health product. And I have a lot of stuff on my plate, which is why I'm filming so late at night right now. But what I believe is that when you commit to something, you need to commit to it. And when these roadblocks happen, I was very quick to think to myself, one, maybe I should just stop this. But I, well, first I can't because I announced that it was gonna be a daily vlog. I can't quit on the third day. How stupid would I look? How many people failed their New Year's resolutions already? Which is actually a good point. If you want to do a New Year's resolution, go ahead and make it public. Make sure everyone knows about it. That way if you fail, everyone's gonna laugh at you. It's part of the reason why I announced this daily vlog. I wanted people to hold me accountable. And you know what? If for some reason I slip up, you should make fun of me. But anyway, point is, Things don't go perfectly. And as you know, I already run a business. I don't really have much time to be doing this sort of vlogging every day, but I'm gonna commit to it. I'm gonna keep to it. And I'm gonna see how long I could last. Right now, 
I think that this is a really important part of the process. I wanted to share it because I wanted you to see firsthand that nothing ever goes perfectly and no matter what stage of business you're in, it's okay. You need to keep pushing forward. You need to lean in to the problems and realize that things will get better with time. I may not have a video guide today and I may have a shaky camera right now, but that's fine. Things are gonna get better and they're gonna get even more interesting with time. When I can start filming outside, when it's not negative 54 degrees out. That's it for this vlog today. I hope you liked it. Again, I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. So if you do appreciate this sort of transparency, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and why don't you tell me about a time when you wanted everything to go perfect and it didn't go that well. Share one of your horror stories so we could all commiserate together because misery loves company. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.